men are aviation cadets. A short while ago, they too were average American boys from average American families. In the near future, they will have learned many things. How to pilot a plane, how to navigate, or how to operate a bomb site. If you're 17, you can enlist in the Air Corps Reserve. You'll be called to training soon after your 18th birthday. Men between the ages of 18 and 26 can go into training immediately. There are things to do and places to go, and the Army Air Forces will supply both to healthy, adventurous, and patriotic young men with a will to smack the enemy where it hurts the most. Stop on your way out at the box office of this theater for complete information, or inquire at number 607 Custom House, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Write that number down, boys. 607 Custom House, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The United States Army Air Corps was the military aviation arm of the United States of America between 1926 and 1941. The constitutional administrative forerunner of the United States Air Force. It was renamed from the earlier United States Army Service on July 2, 1926, part of the larger United States Army. During this time, the primary mission of aviators was to still support troops on the ground and aviation assets still reported to the ground forces commanders and not the Air Corps. The Air Corps staff was solely responsible for overseeing procurement, maintenance, supply, and training. World War II was a global war that lasted from 1939 to 1945, although through related conflicts, it began earlier. It involved the vast majority of the world's nations, including all of the great powers, eventually forming two opposing military alliances, the Allies and the Axis. It was the most widespread war in history and directly involved more than 100 million people from over 30 countries. Target Siena, an important point in the Italian railroad system. Preceding our ground offensive against the German armies below Rome, the tactical air force struck out at the Italian transportation network, an all-out assault against communications north of Rome to cut off the flow of supplies to the enemy. Marauders from Sardinia, bound for the Arezzo and Buccini viaducts, abandoned the primary target because of bad weather. They made an unplanned run on the large railway yards at Siena on the alternate Florence-Rome railway line. These yards contained many units of rolling stock. The bomb run started at the south end of the yards at an altitude of 10 to 11,000 feet. 1,000 pound bombs were laid in good concentration. Photo interpretation reported that all the tracks were definitely cut and both choke points of the railway yards were hit. Some of the bombs hit warehouses on either side of the tracks. Back in the 1940s, the Army Air Corps played a vital role during World War II. On June 20, 1941, the Department of War created the Army Air Corps, or AAC, as its aviation element. Shortly after, it became a co-equal to the Army Ground Forces. An expansion of the AAF, it accelerated after the surprise Japanese attack on Hawaii. By the last year of the war, the quantity and quality of the elite AAC units, such as the Tuskegee Airmen, dominated the skies over both Germany and Japan, all but paralyzing their war economies. Af Air power did not win the war by itself, but it did make it possible for the Allies to obtain victory over the Axis. When the B-29s dropped atomic bombs on Japan based on the AAC's wartime achievements, in the future potential, the U.S. Air Force became a full partner with the Army and Navy on September 18, 1947.